Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSimmer talking to you here. And today, I want to compare the M1 Pro MacBook Pros against the M1 Max MacBook Pros. So, I want to compare the two chips, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. And which computer should you get and which Apple Silicon chip should you get? Right now, you're probably a pro if you were watching this video. So, you are stuck between a decision from the M1 Pro to the M1 Max. Should you pay more to get more? And in this video, I will help you choose, as well as help you choose between the 14-inch size and the 16-inch size. So, if you are excited, don't forget to leave a, drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel. But before we start, roll the intro. So, the big differences between this 14-inch MacBook Pro and 16-inch MacBook Pro are only the batteries. Yes, all of the things that came to the 16-inch this year in terms of updates, new speakers, microphones, display, performances, options, they are all available on the 14-inch MacBook Pro. The only differences between those two are the sizes. So, right now, you can choose between having a smaller PC with the most amount of performance or having a bigger screen with better battery and having a little bit less performance for less money. For example, you can spec out a 14-inch MacBook Pro and spend more than choosing the base 16-inch MacBook Pro. But the differences this year have come to realize to be a little bit less. The price is also different. This year, the 14-inch starts at $2,000, while the 16-inch came up $100 starting at $2499, so $2500. These are more expensive than last year's, but remember, now we have a bigger display, which is ProMotion and Mini LED, we have bigger batteries, it's a redesign, we have the most powerful silicon that we have so far, and the specs are just insane for the amount of price. So, right now, which computer should you choose? Let's go into this configurator and try to help you between the 14-inch and the 16-inch. By the way, the redesign that came with the 14 and 16 inch, my opinion, is the best ever. It's inspired on the Unibody MacBook Pros and I love it. It's a little bit more rounder on the corner, not on the corners, but a base and a top a little bit more rounder and then it's squared off. It looks heavier and bulkier, but it's not. It's actually a little bit, just a little bit heavier and the same, almost the same width. The, the difference is negligible. So between those two, you will notice the differences and I think it will be way more comfortable to use and type. Also the keyboard being black between the keys is also pretty cool. I like it. I like the aesthetic of this computer. And now we have six array speakers on the two computers. So with more bass and a lot of more power, these speakers would be the best speakers on a laptop ever. Also, the new microphone is incredible. And finally, we got 1080p web cameras, which have smart HDR. But no more talks, let's get into the configurator. So we're here and let's now go into the Mac. We can see here that we have the Unleashed event where you got the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, but let's go into the Mac section and start choosing between these two computers. You can see here that we have the new MacBook Pros. They start from $19.99 and they are quite expensive. You have the 13-inch model, which is $12.99. This still has the M1, but it has a touch bar if you want to. It has less Thunderbolt ports and doesn't have HDMI and SD card slot. In my opinion, it's not worth it. If you want a 13-inch computer with the M1, go for the MacBook Air, a way better deal for cheaper. So I think that if you are looking for an Apple Silicon computer right now and you are looking for the laptops, of course, if you don't want to spend a lot of money or you don't want to spend a ton of money, go for the MacBook Air. If you do want to spend a little bit more money, go for the supercharged MacBook Pros. In the order page, you can see that these computers have three options, the 13-inch, like I told you, the 14-inch and the 16-inch. Let's start with the 14-inch. The 14-inch has a ton of options that Apple didn't talk about in its event. So for the M1 Pro, we got an 8-core CPU and a 14-core GPU, which is the bend down version of this chip. That's why it's so cheap. You only have 8-core CPU, so it's a little bit less, just like the M1 had a 7-core uh, CPU, I think. So it was a little bit less, uh, worst CPU overall and you pay a little, a little bit less so you can choose between those two and the jump is $500 you can get an 8 core CPU with a 14 core GPU that's the $2,000 this entry model price it's only if you want to get the of course liquid retina XDR display and the tunable ports SD card slots and the, four, the 67 watt power adapter but it's a little bit less than the 96 power adapter that you get on the 14-inch MacBook Pro and the 140 that you get on the 16-inch MacBook Pro. So this device is only for people that want mini LED 
ProMotion on their MacBooks, but they do not care much about performance. It's still for pros and it's still very, very powerful, but it's not nearly as powerful as the M1 Max or the M1 Pro normal. So as you can see, in my opinion, if you want this eight core G CPU or 14 core GPU and you don't care about performance, this is the computer to get. You save $500 when compared to the tier ahead, which is $500 more and starts at $2,500. With this $2,500 price tag, you can get 10 core CPU and a 16 core GPU, while starts at one terabyte of storage. It's kind of nice. I like that Apple did it. And it comes with a 96 USB-C power adapter, which is incredible if you want to fast charge your MacBook, while the 67 watts won't do that. But those are the only differences. It has the same 16 core GPU, like all of the M1 Pro, if you don't choose the 32 GPU core option, but it has a 16 core GPU, a 10 core CPU, and 16 gigabytes of unified memory. It goes up to, if you go here and select this computer, you can choose a 24 core GPU, which gets you $200 more expensive, or a 32 core GPU, like I told you. So there's a lot more options than Apple talked about. And you can choose it until, if you choose the M1 Max, which is a 32 core GPU, you can get until 64 gigabytes of RAM. While if you stick with the 24 core GPU, which is the middle ground, and for the most amount of pros, this is the M1 Max that I recommend. It's a little bit cheaper than the older one, and you can get 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM still. And if you don't care a lot of performance in terms of GPU, why are you buying an M1 Max in the first place? The M1 Pro probably has the same performance in terms of CPU. But of course, if you only a little bit more than 16 GPU cores, but you don't have a lot of money to spend on the 32 core, although $200, I think it's justified to get at least eight more cores. So in my opinion, if you are getting an M1 Max, go for the 32 core GPU option on the 14 inch, of course, because if you go down, you can see that the most amount of money that you will spend is on storage and there's no way around it. You will spend $400 for two terabytes, $1,000 for four terabytes, and $2,200 for eight terabytes. So in my opinion, not worth it. So go for the one terabyte and buy external hard drives or SSDs. But again, this is the configurations for the 14 inch MacBook Pro. In my opinion, go for the 32 core GPU if you want the M1 Max, but if you want the M1 Pro, stick with the 10 core CPU with the 16 core GPU and spend a little bit extra money on the 32 gigabytes of unified RAM. In my opinion, it's way worth it and it will future proof your device. But again, if you are not looking for this computer, it's two to three weeks delay, so it will take a while. Let's go back and go for the 16 inch MacBook Pros. Here we have more options. We have the M1 Pro, which has 10 cores in terms of CPU again, 16 cores of GPU and 16 gigabytes of unified memory. It starts at 512 gigabytes of storage. Again, this is not the best deal if you want to buy this computer. In my opinion, if you want to spend $24.99, which is 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU and 16 gigabytes of unified RAM, you have to prioritize what you really, really want. Do you want 512 gigabytes of storage with the 16 inch size or do you want a 14 inch size with one terabyte for the same price? You can see here you have the, exactly the same price. The only difference is here you have one terabyte and on the 16 inch you only have 512 but of course you get the 140 watt fast charging brick which is even bigger to fast charge your computer which is even also bigger so the probably the differences between in terms of speed of charge are those of course you get 512 gigabytes less here but you also get a little bit more battery life which is around four hours so you have to make your decisions way around where you need it you want a bigger screen bigger battery less storage do you want the smaller screen better portability, better storage, and a little bit worse battery life. Of course, it's still very good. 17 hours is also amazing. But then again, if you don't want this computer and you want a one terabyte option, you will have to pay only $200 more. So if you want to decide it, just pay the $200 and go for the computer that I was talking about before, but one with one terabyte of storage. Apple makes it a lot of easy to do that. So let's select the one terabyte option, because I, in my opinion, 512, gigabytes right now with this type of computer that we will edit a lot of photos and videos is not enough you have to go for one terabyte and here you have three options also you have the 20 core 24 core m1 max which gives you 200 dollars again i don't recommend this option because for only 200 dollars more you can go for the 32 core gpu and 
it's way worth it. Eight more cores will represent at least a quarter more performance in terms of Apple calculations because you can see that the 32 core M1 Max is four times the performance of the M1 and two times the performance of the M1 Pro. So again, probably this M1 Max with the 24 core option is probably half the, uh, half the performance, so one and a half the performance of the M1 Pro and this one is two times. So in my opinion for that jump in terms of performance, the $200 are way, way more worth it. Of course, if you wanna go for the 64 gigabyte option, I mean, it's $400. Do you wanna spend $400 more on an option where unified memory is very, very fast, like 32 gigabytes equals to 64 on a normal computer. So do you want, really, really want 128 gigabytes of normal RAM or do you only need 32? I recommend going for the 32 core option. And of course, again, do not spend more than $200 on the one terabyte. $400, $1,000, $2,000 is just insane. Get an external SSD, does the same job. It's not as fast because Apple now uses super fast SSD, but again, I mean, it's fast enough and you can edit a lot of videos on Final Cut, like 4K footage, pretty easily. So do not spend this type of money on storage. Of course, if you wanna be very mobile, again, spend a ton of money, but that's the place where you will spend more money than you realize is on storage. So these are the options for the 16-inch Micro Pro. Again, if I spec out these computers, 64 gigabytes of RAM, eight terabytes, 32 core, M1 Max, you are looking at $6,000. And of course, the 14-inch computer, the maxed out option, goes for way, way more also. So 32 core option, probably $200 less, and eight core, again, $5,899, $200 less. So the differences between these two computers, options are always, always $200 and you gotta weigh out. Do you need the bigger screen and better battery or do you need the more portable computer with the same amount of performance? It's up to you and I'm gonna tell you. I love these MacBook Pros. Their redesign is just insane. And I can't wait to, for example, look at here, the keyboard, it's just beautiful, I love this. And the display with the notch is incredible. And I let me show you some pictures here of this computer. Like, you can see the screen here. The notch will be covered when, when using black, for example. Let's get some images here uh, from the screen. So you can see here from the, it's a little bit slow, but you can see here from this picture on, I think it's Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve, I don't know. but. Here you can see that the, the notch, you cannot notice when you open an app, the, the notch is covered because the Apple is, well, Apple only allows apps to go 16 by 10, no more than that. So you only win this extra space on screen for the menu bar, so it doesn't bother you. So I agree with this design. Again, here you can see that the wallpaper is way more, more drastic and looks kind of ugly, but when you use it like on a normal screen or using an app, you can see that you won't notice just like the old MacBook Pro, but now with rounded corners, like a lot of leakers predicted and look me on predicted too, because Mac, Mac OS Monterey now is rounded corners on the, the panels and the windows. So again, this computer is amazing. You have a lot more IO, SD card slot, USB 4, you have three USB 4s and you have HDMI and an iPhone jack. So. 21 hours of battery life, Jesus, it's just insane, this computer. These two chips are just insane, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. And I cannot wait to get this computer. And I will unbox it, review it for you. So in my opinion, if you are a person that looks for a computer with the most amount of performance and power, go for the 16 inch M1 Max with 64 or 32 gigabytes of option, they, those you have to weigh out in your head. And again, do not spend money on the extra storage, only if you really, really need to. Go for external SSDs. So, what were your thoughts? Did you like this video? Do you want more coverage on this M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBook Pros? Do you want more comparisons between the products? And what do you thought do you vet? Did you get any of these computers? Did you get any of these configurations? Are you getting these configurations now? They are very, very back ordered. So be aware that you might have to wait until December for your computer. I will get mine next Tuesday and I couldn't be more excited. Well, this was my video on these computers. Go on the description down below, read the description if you want to, click on the links, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and this was Texumer talking to you here, bye.